Welcome everyone to the new 26 7 heaven for this week. As a person of criticism, giving honest opinion can be difficult. You're going to have people that don't agree with you. You're going to have the haters. And most importantly, if you can be a little too blunt, it can also get you into trouble. Blunt honesty is a weird thing. We all want to say what's truly on our minds. In fact, we live in a country that encourages it. Kinda. But when honesty can become hurtful, it's a very thin line. It's not definitive. It's difficult to discern. That brings us to today's episode, Honest Apple, in which Applejack is asked to judge a fashion show on Rarity's behalf. Bring back also Photo Finish from Green Isn't Your Color and Hoity Toity from Sweet and Elite as other judges. Their job is to judge a young up and coming fashion show with three distinct designers, all fighting for the chance to get their fashion showcased in the Carousel Boutique. But Rarity's brand of honesty is right up there with Simon Cowell as she, as she judges each of the ponies harshly based on practicality. This is where the episode gets its crux, but also is the main character failure. You see, Rarity wanted Applejack to judge on practicality, not to actually learn what makes fashion fashion and judge it from her point of view, which made a lot of her decisions and harsh criticisms albeit true from a practical sense, wrong in a fashion sense. And it's not only that, she comes off rough, with her tone of voice being high and authoritative, as though she knows what's going on and what is best. Which, trust me, in this film, in this field of criticism, that can often be a tough thing for even me to juggle with. But the harsh criticism goes, of course, as natural, too far. And almost gets the fashion show taken out because of it. But when she learns to be honest, yet respectful of the quality of the work and the time and pressure put in, Applejack learns to tone it down a bit and to learn that being honest has its points as long as it isn't super duper painful. Saying what's on your mind can have consequences. It can make you lose friends. It can make you lose business opportunities and shoot. It can even get people after you. But I think uh, as the writers have been trying to express, us being bluntly honest about a show we love can be a good thing, as long as we're not after each other's throats like the guys that made No Man's Sky figure it out. As long as we don't take it too personally and understand that it's just opinion. You don't have to live by it. We can all learn to love it. And also, it breeds a lesson of, if you're going to be critical about anything, 
and it's your first time, learn a little bit about what makes make the industry you're criticizing tick a bit before learning to criticize it. And be honest as you can, but also understand that not everyone is going to agree with you. And try to at least come on their level and be respectful. Applejack's a little rough in this episode and very unlikable. It takes her best trait and throws it down a river, to be honest. And although she does fit the perfect Simon Cowell type for this character, it's just not her. Fluttershy would have been a better suit for this episode because of her actual knowledge of fashion. And her being absurdly blunt would have fit the theme more. Just like in the episode itself, upon criticism, Applejack feels out of place. However, regardless of this, the message is not, and even Pinkie Pie's interludes bring about some fun levity and the middle ground mediator as everything's figuring it out. But it's really the three characters, the three young fashion designers that stand out here. One is a mall rat goth, the other is an 80s extremist, and the other is, a, is of course, a goth. Each of their characters defined their fashion senses put perfectly on display, and they're rather fun. Plus, they're also, if you've paid attention, also in the episode, Carousel Boutique in the background. So it's a nice little callback to a previous episode a couple seasons ago. And it's also nice to see Photo Finish and Hody Toity both in their respective zones. It's like a callback to some of Rarity's finest episodes to see how far she's come in the fashion zone. It's really a win for Rarity's character. It's just too bad it's bogged down by Applejack being more blunt than I can in these reviews sometimes. But it's all meant good fun with a good moral that both speaks to basic life as well as fans that also criticize this series. Writers, I hear you. You're right. Some days us critics can be incredibly harsh, but we mean well. We do it because we love this show and want the show's best foot forward. And some days, to be honest, you just don't do it. And on a day like today, however, you most certainly did. It may have not been a perfect 10 showing, but your heart, just like Applejack's, is in the right place. And oh yeah, Rarity can shred, which is a thumbs up for me. That's why I'm giving Honest Apple episode 153 of this crazy show I criticize a 4 out of 6 in my honest opinion. Applejack's blunt hammer Simon Callas opinions can be a little rough and she's out of her element per se, kinda in this episode, but Rarity plus all the references to Rarity's older episodes 
make this one kind of a treat and a nice slice of life tale. Honesty has its reasons, and I hope that I didn't offend anybody. Just know, I want to hear your honest opinions on Honest Apple. And come at me as blunt as you want in the comments section below. Just make sure not to get the show cancelled. And thank you all for us reaching the 20,000 views milestone. It's really been a blast. And I can't wait for the next 20,000 to come around. And make sure to hit the annotations near the end of this video, which you should be seeing right about now, to see our review from last week, for last week's episode, as well as our latest comic review that's been featured on Equestria Daily. And hit our logo to subscribe. Until next week. Find peace in your own nirvana. Thanks for watching.